welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. In this video, I'm going to bring you an in-depth analysis on Bitcoin, the price, and why many bearish people may have already missed the bottom. Is this sounding interesting? Drop that like, give me a subscribe. This one's going to be a powerful one, guys. I want to show you so many different charts. I'm going to take a look at some glass node charts, just trying to show you how the bottom could very well have been in and so many people could have missed it. This is not financial advice. Please do your further research before you invest your money. These are some of the charts we're going to look at. We're going to take a look at this one here, which is the net unrealized profit loss. I'm going to show you the MVRV score. The MV, yeah, MVRV score, this one here. I'm going to also show you some of the you know, standard charts on trader, trader, trading view. I got the weekly time frame up here on this one, which I'm, you know, because I, I covered a lot of these in my videos already. Uh, we're going to take a look at the long term perspective on the monthly time frame for Bitcoin. And then we're going to take a look at this one over here. Trust me, go grab a coffee, get, you know, drink, sit back. Let's really talk about this because a lot of people were hoping that Bitcoin went down to $12,000. Of course, there's a possibility a black swan event could happen, which could make it happen. <clears throat> but from my perspective, I seriously believe we are now seeing the starts of a bull cycle, a bull rally. Just like what we saw back in 2018 cycle and 2015 cycle and, you know, everything else. So I'm going to explain all my reasons why. If you've been watching my channel... I've been sharing new technical analysis videos. Every week, I like to drop one. I will start bringing them more often, but every week, I like to drop some uh, analysis videos. And all through it, you can see here, like the 53K, lo loads. I've been, I've been sharing loads. <coughs> and this one's probably going to be the most powerful one. So the last one I spoke about is if we came up to this red line, we may see rejection because it's a powerful line. It's the 200-week moving average and every time in the past we've met up with this 200 week moving average let me just change it to the logarithmic scale <laughs> i should have done it in this way uh it just it looks better it's much easier to see like bottoms and stuff every time in the past where we've came down to this 200 week the price action for bitcoin we've always held it as support and you can see this true right back in the past um i'm using the bit stamp chart if i was using the index chart this red line will probably extend out a bit more and you can see how it held support, right? And all through 2022 to 2023, uh, we were underneath this. You know, right from month, uh, from June, I was going to say Monday, <laughs> Monday 13th of June, we were underneath this for a very long time and we found it very hard to break above uh, for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. Every candle that you see is a week's worth of action. So most recently, in my last recent video, and you can check it, I said that we were up here... Uh, something in my throat. <laughs> and I said, we may face rejection. If we do, where is it going to fall to? I said, I think it's likely that we will come down to this yellow line and then we will bounce off it and then we will see price action start coming above. And that's what we've seen here. So technically speaking, I'm trying to highlight this. I should I should have came more prepared in my bloody throat. So I've been suffering like cold sneezes and whatnot. So it was always me. I'm always ill. This area here, could very well have been the bottom. Matter of fact, it could have been classed as a double bottom. Because, uh, you know, you've got one that's not, you know, one, one here. And this is not too far off from the price. Like low, low. These are similar, close prices. Um, many people will class that as a double bottom the same way as they would class this as a double top, right? So, I think we've seen it. And if we take a look at some glass node now, this is powerful because glass node tackles on-chain data. Just give me one minute, sorry. I wanted to clear my throat and make it a bit better. Let's take a look at Glassnode. Glassnode tackles on-chain data, which is information that the uh, exchanges do not give you. And this is why this is powerful information. The MVRV score, what does it do? How do we work with it? It says the MVRV score is used to assess when Bitcoin is over and undervalued uh, relative to its fair value. When the market value is significantly higher than realized value, it has a historical indicator. Uh, uh, sorry, it has historically hint indicated a market top in the red zone. So all of this red zone up here is usually when they they class that, you know, Bitcoin's at its peak, it's at its highest point. Like, uh, it's you know, it, we're seeing the tops of the market. That's what it's saying. And same works for when it's down at its bottom, right? So when the opposite has indicated market bottoms, green zone uh, technically uh, is defined as the ratio between, the, oh, sorry. I've, let me, <laughs> while the opposite has indicated the market bottoms <coughs> so what they're saying is when you see the red we're at the top when we see the green we're at the bottom uh, what else we got here <coughs> <coughs> 
sorry. MVRV score is defined as the ratio between the difference of market cap and realized cap and the standard devi devi deviation of all historical market cap data, i.e. market cap, realized cap, and everything else. So make it clean and simple. Um, every time we see these green spikes, these orange spikes, these orange spikes, if they come up in this red zone, you're looking at the tops of the market. And if you look at the black line, this is all Bitcoin's price. And you can see every time we've seen the top of the market, this orange line has been straight up pointed in, you know, literally spot on to the tops of the markets, right? This is where the most volatile moment was for Bitcoin, where the most peak, the most euphoric moments have happened. And look at where, you know, it's been when it's been at the bottoms of the market. So when we've seen the bottoms of the market, this orange line has been down in this green zone. And again, you can see it, look, when we've seen massive drops down to the bottoms of the market like here, look at where this orange line is, in the green zone. This is a powerful indicator. This is a powerful on-chain analysis indicator. And I've been showing you this months ago, and I'm bringing it to you again. Uh, look, 2018 cycle, let me just come up. So over here now, so 2018's massive drop down here. This is the bottom. Look at where it's been on this orange indicator, right down here in this area here. And I'm going to bring this down so you can see it clearly, right down here. So I might zoom this in because I want to really focus on the now. So this is all of t from 2018, you know, 2017's run up, right up to where we are now. So we know that every time it's down here in the green, this is the bottom, like, you know, this is it. And if it ever comes out of this green zone, you've missed it. You've missed the bottom. And this is what we're looking at here over here on the right-hand side. You can see that we were down in this green. This was a phenomenal time to be buying crypto, Bitcoin, anything that you like. Because now you can see it's come out of the green, bounced off it, and it's now looking like it's on its way up. Similar to what we saw here and all the other times in the past, like this one back here as well. So this indicate for me is a strong signal that you've missed the bottom if you, you know, if you was a bearish person, you thought it was going lower to 12K. Let's take a look at net unrealized profits i always said to you on this one and it was very simple when this you know we got a rainbow chart here this rainbow line every time we see it red that's showing the depths of the bottom of the market it's the bearish bottom of the market look out for that i was saying and i remember showing you you know back in where was we this was july june this was june of 2022 i thought this was the bottom because it was dark red came up again and it went even darker dark red i'm showing you now we are far from dark red guys every time we see it in this dark red it's been the bottom when it goes to orange it's like you're coming out of the you know the bear market same in the past here look we're coming out of the bear market it turns orangey yellow then it goes green then it goes euphoric dark blue we're looking for these dark blue tips, which is going to tell us which where the top is. And I'm going to show you guys where the top is in the future. And if you're new to my channel and you don't want to miss it, become uh, a subscriber. You know, subscribe. I'm going to try and show you helpful analysis all through this, you know, journey. Because we want to know when to take profits, right? Anyway, green and blue is going to be a phenomenal time to consider taking profits. But I'm going to be looking for that blue. We didn't get it here. We had a, you know green we were close to it but this is why we use other uh, charts to decide is now the time to take it so seeing green and seeing other charts that are doing different things is going to help us decide when to take profits but we've missed it look at the right hand side guys we are now starting to see some yellow on this rainbow sort of indicator here uh, it's this what's it called the net and uh, nupl that's what they call this indicator it's turned orange sorry did i say green yellow uh, it's turned orange and it's now turning a bit yellow so we're out of the bottom guys according to on-chain data on this net unrealized profit loss so that's the easiest way to understand this uh, let me just come over now to have I done this one let's come over to this because I showed you a video a few days ago on the pie cycle bottom I told you there's two types we have one that's the top and one that's the bottom and how the bottom one works is it you know technically tells you where the bottom is but we have two entries well we have an, an entry in and an entry out what do I mean every time you look at this chart right you can see where this red, this pinkish, I changed the colors, it was red and green. This pinky purpley line comes down and it crosses with the blue line. That first cross that you see talks of we're coming into the bottom of the market. So we're going to see a, a period of low bottom pricing, right? So that's what this was. We saw this cross. And funny enough, it matched up to the bottom of the cycle. You know, pie cycles being known to call the tops and the bottoms of the markets. Uh, and this is what we saw. And then we were waiting patiently through all this time, or people that were in 2015, 
until we saw the entry out and this was the entry out now some people back then probably wasn't even looking at the pi cycle they probably wasn't using this, this indicator but it's a powerful indicator this can tell you when you know rallies start to kicking off and things are gonna go so you know this was the second entry so you come in and you come out there's only ever two crosses right that's what we're looking for the crosses the first cross was here when the purple comes down the second cross is when the the blue line now or the purple line is going to cross back up and that's what this one was here because when you see this pinky purple line cross for the second time that's it you've missed the bottom the bottom was here all this price action you had all this time to buy now the price has broken out of this this pinky blue line this cross has happened and look what's happened to the price it held support on this pink line all the way through right hold on I'm, my thing's going funny i'm trying to move and it's not moving look all the way through it held support on this pink line right and this is what we saw a massive rally and we could see something like this in the future time's gonna tell so if we come forward now to 2018 cycle you can see right look and you can also use this pink line pinky purple line as a sign for you know there's a change in the market right so look we break this line here when we broke this all time all the way through it came bearish right so this could be a good indicator to maybe consider taking profits right about here but we're focusing on this this is the main part the crosses the purple line or pink line crosses with this like blue line here that signals the bottom look down here this is classed as the bottom right and then we wait patiently for the second cross there's only ever two crosses. The purple line swings back up. This is the second cross. Look at price action. It's above. We had a swan event, a black swan event, which was the 19, right? And that's what caused this to come down here because had that not have happened, we probably would have been bouncing off this pink line just like we did in the past. So... And again, as you can see, when we ride it like a, a wave of a bull, mega cycle or a bull cycle, that's what we're seeing. Price action bounce above it all the way through. It came clear of it all the way through, and that's what we saw. And, you know, this break here, again, could have been a, a strong indicator that the trend is reversed and maybe you should consider taking profits. But we saw a double top at that time, right? So now we are in 2023, and look what's happening. We've had our first cross, which is where the purple line came down to the blue line and it crossed. Now we saw the bottom of the market. I said this could have been the bottom. It came down and done a second bottom. Double bottoms can happen. They all, you know, slightly different prices, but they do resemble a a bottoming of a market. That and there, that's the, it's the structure, right? Like you see a double top here, right? So this was our second cross right here. And as I've shown you in the past, every time we see a second cross, usually that's it like you've missed the bottom prices are going to rise up and usually this the price action holds support on the pink line or the you know this purpley pinky line so if it does that i would expect you know if bitcoin was to fall i would expect it now to just be holding support off this pink line the whole way through until we see it go really high up and then it has a massive break of that pink line so i'm going to be watching that and i'm going to keep showing you videos on this through the whole journey of 2023 again Come and, uh, become a subscriber if you're new to the channel. Don't miss this. These are the things that are going to really help you on your journey. Clean, simple in uh, indicators, uh, analysis. None of this technical stuff with too much on the screen. It's just simple. Two lines. And you know what you're doing. You know when to take profits. This is what it's about. Let's come over to this one here. This one might be technical for some, but it's still clean. right? And I've highlighted in, on this bottom charts down here. I've got the RSI. Hold on. I've got the RSI and the stochastic RSI. RSI stochastic RSI and I've done circles for a reason because what I've been looking for on these right is the break of this of this whole yellow line because every time we broken this yellow line right so they've got the blue see the blue chart every, every the line every time this blue line breaks the yellow line that's when prices go crazy for bitcoin that's when the bottom's in and we're now starting to see a new rally same happened here and we've just done it here now if you measure this up to the price you know we can take a look now so this was where i'm talking about the breakings of the blue line look at where it resembles right here with the uh, you know 2014 2015's bottom you see and if we come in and zoom on this area here you can see how precise it was when it was trying to say look the bottom is in we broke this yellow line now we're going to start seeing price action move up and that's what we saw and on top of that i've got this yellow line at the top here which is the uh what is it the 20 we, a 20 month moving average so these are powerful lines to pay attention to we see the rsi break this yellow line 
sorry, price action comes above here and we hold it as support and we start flying, right? And this is what we, we're looking for. We're looking for the break of this blue, this yellow line. So the blue breaks this, uh, oh, hold on, let me stretch it out, on the RSI, right? Same for the stochastic RSI as well, but I'll talk about that in a second. Blue line breaks the yellow line. Price action breaks above of this yellow line, holds it as support. Yeah, we saw this whole, again, black swan event, but it came back above and started holding support and we saw price action go up. Look what's happening now, guys. Right here, look what's happening. We're seeing a break of this yellow line. I really want to zoom in. We're seeing a break of this yellow line, which in the past resembles that, you know, the bottom has been in and it's very likely some people have missed it. Now, the real test is going to be this yellow line here. If we break this yellow line, we probably could see Bitcoin set a new all-time high in the future. Like, seriously. Because there was a few things that were making me feel like, well, maybe it wouldn't be a new high. Like, I was looking at, I was using different things like um, Elliott wave counts and things like that. Because you can get, like, <coughs> wave counts as to, uh, you know, has the bottom, If because it, if it's a five wave count, let me find it. Uh, here we go. If this was an Elliott wave count, one, two, three, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, then we might be performing sort of like an ABC correction, which means that uh, the bottom isn't in yet, that we're just seeing a longer extended bull cycle. So something like this could have been an Elliott wave count where my throat, I know it's horrible. I've got like a horrible, like phlegmy kind of, anyway, <laughs> you don't want to hear that. Uh, if this was, if this is what I was looking at first, like this could be some form of an Elliott wave count where it shows that we're in a wave cycle, which means that we have to have an ABC correction, which technically speaking, this ABC correction <coughs> could probably go up to about 50,000. So I'm not going to know this until it actually happens. Where's the ABC? Um, I don't know what their class is an ABC. So maybe that would be the A. We come down a leg here and then there's another final one up here somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be, but we could see something like this. Or maybe this is the rejection. Maybe we get to this yellow line up here. We get rejected. The B comes down, something like this. And then we see a later on like a C, something like this. And I'm going to make this white as well because this can still play out. This could very well still play out as an ABC correction. So we're going to, you know, I'm going to keep an eye on this. This is very technical stuff now, <clears throat> but I'm going to keep an eye on this because if we've got five wave counts down, it's very likely we could see an ABC correction. So, and then, it, and, and the reason why I'm saying it's bearish is because the, that means the trend has reversed kind of thing. But hold on, this C wave never goes higher than the second, right? So, uh, or something like that. So if this is the case, and it is an Elliott wave count, then it's likely that it could come down again for, you know, another five waves, two, three, four, you see what I'm saying? So this is why it could be bearish. Um, but I don't know. I, I feel like there's too many indicators that are showing that the bull cycle's begun. So we're going to see what happens. Um, I'll come back to this whole Elliott wave count in the future with you guys. So, you know, you can keep you up to date on it. But right now, I'm focusing on the bearish side of things. Uh, sorry, the bullish side of things. And it is looking really bullish. This will be a test here, this line, right? Because And this, is, this line is sitting about $33,100. So, you know, pin that down in your your, your uh, thingy, your notebook or pad, whatever you got. Pin it down, 33100 because that's going to be the test. Like, if it breaks that, then, you know, we can say clear skies ahead. But that might be some strong resistance. Why? Because, you know, we were under this before. You know, every time in the bear cycle, we were under it before. So, you know, breaking that could be a, a strong signal that we're in, you know, some serious bullish trend. But if you have a look here at the uh, stochastic RSI, this works the same way as the uh, RSI. But we've been looking for it to come up into this blue zone where the blue and the red line comes up into the blue zone. You can see where I've highlighted the circles, right? Because it came up into this blue zone. And look now, we both both lines, the blue and the red, have come up into this blue zone. And when you compare this on the chart as to what happened in the past when it went up into this blue zone, I'll bring this up so you can see, right? Um, so we've got price action here. We've got the blue line and the red line come up into the blue zone. And you can see what happens with the price, right? It really goes. Like, it really, really goes. Same with this thing here. It comes right up and then you can see the rally continuing. So I feel like this is what we're going to see. If, you know, the bullish momentum keeps happening and this blue and red line keeps coming up, you're going to see this price come up really, really high, right? So now we've covered, we've covered this. 
the pi cycle bottom we've covered this on the monthly that's a long-term perspective maybe over the next eight months you know six to eight months you'll see this all play out uh, i'm going to keep you up to date on all of this one last thing i want to show you is the bitcoin rainbow chart which is uh let me find it this one here because again this also speaks of the bottom being in and the good thing of this is you can see well, you, the blue lines represent the halving which means when uh, bitcoin's going to be halved in price usually that makes it more scarce price goes higher but it, you know, this has been updated along the way as well you can see Every time that Bitcoin's price was down at the lows of the blues, the dark blue part of the rainbow, uh, it was mega cheap. It was mega low, mega cheap, the bottom of the cycles, that was the best time to buy. And you can see it right back dated from here, which was 2011, right? So we come over here, this area here is 2015. All through that cycle was a good time to buy. Look, 2018s didn't come as low, it was like, in a, like a pearly blue pearly blue <laughs> you know it wasn't dark blue but we had that c19 happen and that's what called cause it cause it to come down into the dark blue and now if you look recent to where we are here on this side we are you know we've been seeing the dark blue down here on this side here so we've come out of it now and this is what i'm trying to get at we've come out of it we're now up in this green area which greens you know is classed as accumulate you know buy accumulate still cheap so if you look at this black line, it's in the green area here. Oh, the writing comes up. And that's what I'm looking at, you know, because when it goes red, that's going to signal the top again. So what do you want to do? This is not financial advice. This was just very helpful, powerful information that I can give you on the Bitcoin price. What are you going to do? Uh, do you feel like the bull market's begun? Do you feel like we're going to see a lower low? Because according to all of these indicators that I've shown you, you know, the glass nodes and everything else, it looks like, you know, it really may have been in and people may have missed it. And what's going to happen is the people that missed it down here in these, you know, low green parts that, that should have bought when it was down here, down here, you're going to see them get really upset. And what's going to happen is they're going to end up buying at a higher price, right? And at that time, it could be extreme euphoria. And maybe at that time is when the market reverses because they're the same people that were saying you're going to 100K up here, right? That's what the, the same people are going to be, you know, buying that missed the buys down here. So I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Become a Patreon. Please become a Patreon because I'm going to share this stuff, sort of analysis with them all the time. <coughs> I share it with you all the time as well. This one is an important video, so I wanted to get it up as quick as I can so everyone can see because I like to give you relevant price action. Price changes too much over the last few weeks, so I want to get it up as quick as I can. Everyone can see it, and it's just good and fair, you know? Um, relevant. Needs to remain relevant on the channel. Uh, I got seven tiers. Take your pick. I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier, this one here. Unlocks all my posts. You'll see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, when I'm staking, the whole lot, when I'm doing analysis, when I'm st all of that stuff. It's all there. <coughs> if you can't afford it, I've got a next tier above my CEO tier. It gives you access to my VIP Telegram group. Remember, the CEO tier. Click it. The link is in the info section. Grab it. Come over. Talk to me in my VIP group. We're, we're sharing great projects over there. I in there in here. I talk to them way before I buy, way before I sell. We're just discussing stuff. And there's big money in this space. They know how to make money, sharing great projects all the time. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.